Hello, sweet souls, Bidette here. I wanted to come in here in between two daily tune-in lives during this 90-day experiment that we have happening in our community. And I, I'm being called to put in some supplemental videos in between our lives to enhance the message that you um, that you are receiving on the the daily tune in lives. So there there was some more uh, there was a deeper uh, understanding that wants to come through regarding your plot twist and how you are designing. <laughs> how you are remembering your plot twist, okay? Because we're having a complete different paradigm shift about how we create the things in our lives that we have desires for, okay? We're, we're stepping out of the old paradigm of making it happen or manifesting. This is, you know, that's kind of like the build it from the bottom up, kind of from the physical up, logical, um, uh, evolution of the manifestation. We are coming from a quantum. We are coming from a quantum space and pulling from that quantum space, pulling that frequency into your space to match the frequency to then, to then step into the reality. So we are being trained here in this 90 days to learn a completely different process of creation of realities or timelines, dimensions, whatever resonates most with you. But I'm going to use it for, you know, for this, this experiment, the word reality. So you, we are being taught how to use quant the quantum mechanics that we know of to be able to explain this process, okay? So this is what I wanna give you, um, a little bit more of like the anatomy of this plot twist that we're talking about, okay? So we're gonna go into the basic quantum mechanics of it so that you best understand it from a consciousness level. Because again, we're coming, we're pulling it down out of the, 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 the quantum field where all possibilities exist, we're pulling down the plot twist that each of us is choosing. So if you, if you can, um, I'm going to explain this, just follow me through this, this process. Okay. There's going to be two ways to navigate a change. So in this 90 days, you are experimenting with making a change in your life, in your reality. Okay. So my guess is it'll probably start with something that might be a little bit of a challenge. Maybe you have a, an area in your life that's, uh, that's challenging and you want to see what a great plot twist could be in creation to create in order to change that challenge, whether it be a job, a relationship, um, you know, anything in your, in your life. So in this plot twist, you are going to make a choice. Okay. So the difference is it's not this challenge hurts. I want to, I want to fix it. I want to, I want to, you know, maybe heal it. This is where, where our, our, our consciousness is taking a minor shift in that when we have a challenge, now it's like, Oh, this is telling me that there is an, an a higher expression of this. So I would like to exchange the reality and the situation that I am experiencing for a change, an up level, an upgrade. So now instead of being this horrible thing that you have to think about in the old paradigm of I have a challenge and I want to change it, we had to go through the, the linear uh, the linear instructions to change. So we had to use logic to make it happen, right? Oh, I have to do this or I have to do that. I have to do this or I do ha I have to do that. And we kind of figured it out. We tried to figure out the solutions to our problems. We'll sit and churn and churn and churn and churn and churn until most likely you do not come up with the solution that you would love to have happen. Most likely you kind of figure out a solution that you're like, that sounds, it sounds a little bit better. It sounds better when I got now, I'll go for that. And it's such a minute change that once you make that change, because it's so logical, it's based on what you already know, 
Therefore, when you already know, like you're, you, you're, you're working, you're operating from a limited capacity of your mind, because when you operate from what you know and you figure it out, you're only using the lower intelligence of the human mind. And the human mind, quite frankly, is quite primitive in, in, the, 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 uh, in the universe, actually. We are uh, quite primitive of a species down here in the 3D world. We're, we're, we're on the lowest, you know, the lowest frequencies, the lowest densities of, of the universe. And our human mind is quite, quite primitive. So what we are moving into on this plot twist, what we are working with is transcending the human mind and going right to higher intelligence in consciousness. So instead of the doing, the act of doing something to figure out how to get somewhere, we are leaving that behind and adopting a new operating system. This new operating system uh, of, of, of evolving, of up leveling your physical reality starts with choosing to do it in being in consciousness so listen to this because this is going to what's going to blow your mind this is going to feel too simple this is going to feel as if there is no way it can be this easy and yet we all know we've had enough experience with being in a change to know that it's not always easy but how, how this works is you, you make the change to exchange the challenge for an up level. Then the challenge starts to demand a resolution, right? So you start to demand a resolution in the fact that you, you get antsy. You're like, okay, something needs to change here. This relationship starting to get a little, like a little too uncomfortable, right? This job can't do anymore and I don't want to have to figure out how to change it because I know that there are possibilities that I can't even see. And if I have to, if I'm trying to figure it out, it means I'm only working with what I can see. And I obviously can't see a way out now, so I will never figure this, this, this way out. So we're trans, oh, wait, I have to go backwards. We're, we're transitioning to our higher intelligence of creation. So instead of turning and burning over here to, until you get to the point where you're like, I can't freaking figure this out. I can't figure it out. You come to a place of peace because you're so humbled you're, and you just surrender. At that point, if you want to do it this old way, you can still do it because you're eventually going to get to a place of peace where then you can move into the void. But chances are there's so much karmic um, lower intelligence being used here, lower frequencies and densities of thought, because there's going to be a lot of frustration in here. There's going to be a lot of irritation. There's going to be a lot of resentment. And when you are operating and trying to create from that place, you are creating more in your karmic storehouse that is of a lower density. So when you finally get to a place of peace where you're humbled by life and you're like, I don't, I can't figure this out. I'm so full of resentment and I'm so full of anger that I can't figure it out, I am in surrender and I call in my plot twist, you're going to get a really, you're going to get an equally resonant um, change in your reality and it's going to be just as painful. Operating over here where you get the, you get the, you know, the, the discomfort, you know, like this is really uncomfortable, I need a change. And then you start to poke at the change. Okay. What needs changed? And you sit in the being and the contemplation and the journaling and the understanding. Break down what it is in that challenge that isn't working for you so you can get clear. And when you get clear then, you can then say, oh, here's, what I, here's the opposite expression of what I want to create. So this is in this challenge, in this relationship, in this job, this is what hurts. This is what's so painful. This is what's rubbing up against my truth. The opposite expression of that in a plot twist, I would have a job. I would have a relationship that is of the op opposite expression. I would have, this is what it would look like. This is what it would feel like. This is how it would come into my, like it would be the coolest thing if all of a sudden my phone just rang because someone just saw my work and they just really liked what I was doing and they then just called or emailed or saw me on social media and said, hey, I like what you're doing. Wouldn't you, like, do you want to come work for us? I'll pay you more than what you're, you're making now and I get a raise and I get to use my creativity 
creativity differently and I get to be inspired about this job again or I get to be inspired about this relationship and this person is actually caring about me and interested in me and you start to create that kind of, of resonance and you start calling in what like what your soul what you would laugh get on your hands and knees to laugh belly laugh about if this this plot twist came into your reality so in my reality if you know me from the daily tune ins right now in this moment my my greatest plot twist would be that something just happens in this world and it's like everything just becomes this an ama this amazing opportunity for for me and everything that I say regarding me involves my husband. Me means my husband, my kids, my dog, and, and this legacy that we are like looking to build. So this legacy just all of a sudden takes form and it starts to show up in my world. And the work that I'm doing finally gets, you know, gets noticed and the, the work that I, and I, it's already being noticed and I see that grow and grow and grow. And this 90 day experiment is seen by more eyeballs and their experience of life get because because of this and because of our community starts to grow and grow and grow and this thing goes viral and what we actually see is going viral is our, is abundance and love and joy and do you feel the resonation the 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 frequency of what we're talking about here is rising and rising and rising and what if that's all you have to do is is sit in a place of of surrender and just do that and my perfect plot twist would then look like this and this and this and then and then the craziest thing would happen like the love of my life would just happen to be there and because of going in for this new job interview I sit down and there's somebody else there and we end up talking and he's like you want this job because I want it too but I think I'm in love with you so I'm going to get up and leave and go you know what I mean like just make it the most craziest plot twist ever because what is going to happen is that's going to take you into the realms beyond the realms of bliss that will then take you into states of peace and when you're in peace you are in that space where you can say plot twist i'm calling it in i'm ready i'm in resonance with it because what happens is you have to be in a higher resonance whoops to be able to step into that new reality right so you have to in this in this new operating system you have to live from the place of your biggest plot twist coming into your reality and you have to be that and feel that and like giggle at it and how stupid it would be but it would be freaking pretty cool and it would make a really an amazing story to tell your legacy story for the rest of your life let's create a legacy story in 90 days but you've got to go there rather than coming from bottom and trying to like claw your way to a solution you know you just get to completely be in the ideation and the feeling and the energetic consciousness of what is this reality because it is in your mind because it is in your consciousness it already exists in space time right the now moment is time it's kind of your coordinates where you are in the universe you are in this time and in this space right it's, it's hard. It's kind of weird. You know, I, I say right, but like, it's okay if you're kind of like, mm, I think, just bear with me. In this moment, you are in the experience. When you rise yourself up because you get so connected with, with ideating the, the, the greatest plot twist of all times, you then, you then, in that moment when you recognize where you are in frequency and you are way up here in, in peace and bliss and joy and your heart is exploding and you can feel it palpitating because your heart's like, oh my gosh, you know you are a magnet and your thoughts are just completely on that new plot twist and you are now an electromagnetic field, that's when you do the abracadabra and so it is I pulled this into my reality. And because you, at that moment, when you are in that state of bliss, you then call the plot twist in, you are in the void. You are in that zero point, that zero point moment. And when you do that, you are in the quantum, you are in the void, all possibilities exist. You just have to call in the, 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 the coordinates of that possibility. And whatever that 
that vision was that you had, that you wrote out, that you felt, that you that is the coordinates you just the the frequency of that moment was the coordinates you just called in in the vo void in space and time so that calls in that reality you step into it and the baseline frequency the baseline emotion the baseline that you will then experience in that reality is of peace and bliss you start out that new timeline that new reality at a place of peace and you get to build on top of that. That's how our evolution and our, our, our evolution through even like even through the 5D frequencies. We're coming in on the baseline. This, this plot twist is, is, to, is to assist you in getting to the baseline frequency of that 5D. The very minimum at the least so that you can step into it. Because once you are creating from a place of peace... Things happen so quickly. Things happen easily because it is heart-based and it is the, the Christ consciousness in creation. So the Christ consciousness only creates from a place of love or above. Therefore, whatever is created is good for all. So manifestation is fast and it's beautiful and it's easy. That's why it's really important to spend time with your your plot twist what is it that you want to create here what are you like what are you connecting to in these 90 days and it first starts with connecting with the challenge that you have and taking all the bits and pieces of all of the the yuck out of it and planning for the opposite expression of of that challenge so transmuting the 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 the, the densities or the darkness of the challenge into what it is you do want to create so that you can just be in that and ooh rather than breaking down everything that's wrong you want to you want to come over here and start building on on what might be challenge challenging but building on top of that to get you to a place of peace where all of a sudden you see it you understand how this is going to go down and when you get it and that light goes on that's when you say whatever it is i call it in i demand this to be so abracadabra stop and give yourself some gratitude and say i am so happy and grateful to receive in my physical reality, that beautiful, that beautiful vision that just brought me into a place of bliss. And so it is, and so I let it be. That's how this is done, y'all, okay? So take your time with this plot twist and like really, really get dramatic with it. Get dramatic with it, okay? Until it just makes you giggle and be like, man, that would be so crazy, but it would be pretty awesome. That's when you know you've got the plot twist that you are gonna set your set sights on for this 90 days, okay? All right, see you later.